today's session is on calendars. Okay, we will be looking at different problems on how to find the day of a month or a year, how to find it out. Okay, what is the odd day and everything. Uh, please like, share, subscribe this particular channel. Next, on that, my important formulas for a calendar. Line by line, we will be looking at different formulas of a calendar. How do we get this particular formulas? Also, we will be looking at it. Okay. It is very easy to uh, remember it if you know how this particular formula has came into picture. Okay. Now going to one by one. In a given period, the number of days more than a complete weeks are called as an odd days. Okay. If you consider something like seven. Seven is nothing but in a week we would be having seven days, right? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Seven days. Plus, if you consider one day. One day, then one day is nothing but an odd day. If you consider two days also, it becomes an odd day. Six also becomes an odd day. If you consider seven days, then it is not an odd day. Okay. Now going to second one. If every year divisible by four is a leap year, if you consider this one, two thousand and four. If it is a divisible by four or not, then it becomes a leap year. For example, it becomes 20, 0, 0, 4, it becomes 0, 1, so it becomes 4, it's 0. So, 2004 is nothing but a leap year, okay? The year which is not a leap year is called an ordinary year. It's nothing but if it is not divisible by 4, then it is called as an ordinary year. If you consider something like 2010. If you divide by 4, it becomes 5, right? So it becomes 20, it becomes 0, 1, 0, right? 0, 2, it becomes 8, it becomes 2. Reminder is 2, so it is not an leap year, it is an a, nothing but an ordinary year, right? Simple to remember. If divisible by 4, leap year. Not divisible by 4, ordinary year. Okay. Now, a leap year has 366 days. Okay. Leap year would be having 360 days. In ordinary year, you're having 365 days. How do we get this one? We'll be seeing next slide. Now, we'll be looking at how do we get an 366 days. 366 days for leap year and 365 days for an ordinary day we know that in the feb all the logic comes in the feb for ordinary day feb would be having 28 days and for leap year feb would be having 29 days right if you add all the days of a per month then you'll be having 366 days for leap year as one day has been added 29 for feb 28 days will be there for ordinary year so it becomes 365 days now we'll be looking at how to get the odd numbers for each month okay if you consider january it be having 31 days so when you divide 31 by 7 as one week would be having 7 days so forza it becomes 28 it becomes 3 right so January will be having 3 odd days right so each month having 31 days will be having 3 odd days right and if it 30 30 comes into picture 7 becomes 4 28 it becomes 2. So each month having 30 days, we'd have in it 2 odd days. Right? Easy to remember. So we can see that January would be having 3 odd days. March would be also 3 odd days. April 2. May 3. June 2. July and August are continuous, so it becomes 3 3. September would be having two odd days, October 3, 
नवंबर टू डिसम्बर थ्री ओके वेदर ऑफ यूजिंग ए हैंड यू कैन यूज दिस पर्टिकुलर चार्ट राइट हिया स्ट्रेट लाइन से रिप्रेजेंट थ्री आर डेज ओके द वर्टिकल वन रिप्रेजेंट है टू आर डेज वर्टिकल रिप्रेजेंट है टू आर डेज ओनली फेबरीज बिटवीन जीरो और वन वन फॉर लीप या जीरो फॉर ऑर्डनरी डेज ओके आई हैव रिटर्न ऑल द चार्ट केयर ओके थ्री जीरो वन थ्री टू थ्री टू थ्री थ्री टू थ्री टू हाउ टू रिमेम्बर दिस पल चार्ट इज ड्राइ वन लाइन जुलाई एंड अगस्ट थ्री एंड थ्री राइट एंड डिक्रीजिंग वन टू डिक्रीजिंग वन टू राइट देन फॉर मे चार्ट ऑल द हॉरिजोटल लाइन फॉर्म्स एन ए थ्री एट एस एनी वर्टिकल लाइन वुड बी हैव एन टू एक्सेप्ट फेब्रवरी Now we'll be relating the year with an odd day. Okay, if you consider an ordinary year, ordinary would be having how many days? Three sixty five days, right? If you divide seven with the three sixty five, okay, it becomes five. It becomes thirty five. It becomes fifteen. It becomes two. It becomes fourteen. It is one. So, three sixty-five is nothing but fifty-two weeks and one odd day, right? So we can write that ordinary year we have in three sixty-five days, which is not bad. Fifty-two weeks plus one day. So one ordinary year has an one odd day. One ordinary year we have in one odd day. Now come in a leap year. Leap year we have in three sixty-six days, right? So if you divide. Seven with three sixty-six, it becomes five. It is thirty-five. It becomes sixteen. Two. It becomes fourteen. It becomes two. So, leap year would be having fifty-two weeks and two odd days. So, one leap year would be having three sixty-six days, which is nothing but fifty-two weeks plus two odd days. So, one leap year would be having two odd days. Okay, it is very important. You have to remember this one. Okay, ordinary year will be having one ordinary odd day and leap year having two odd days. Okay, remember one ordinary year. Okay, having a one odd day and leap year would be having two odd days. If you consider hundred years, okay, if you consider hundred years, then if you first would be finding how many leap years would be there, if you divide by four. It becomes two, eight. It's twenty, five. It is divisible. Is that twenty-five leap years would be there? No, it will not have twenty-five leap years. It will have only twenty-four leap years. Why come so? Because if hundred is a century, okay, hundred is a century. It's not a year. For century to be a leap year. It should be divisible by four hundred. Okay, it is not divisible by four hundred, so it is not only leap year. So minus one comes into picture. So it will having twenty four leap years. Then it will having seventy six ordinary years, right? It is happen seventy six ordinary years plus twenty four leap years. It is nothing but hundred years. Now seventy six. If you uh, multiply with one and twenty four multiply by two, it becomes an odd day. As we know, ordinary year we having one odd day and leap year we having two odd days, right? So if you multiply, it be getting one twenty four. Again, a single value odd days. How much would you get? It's nothing. But if you divide one twenty four by seven. Once it becomes seven fifty-four, right? Seven zero seven seven zero forty-nine. It becomes five. So it be having seventeen weeks plus five odd days, right? One twenty-four days is nothing but seventeen weeks five odd days. Then it be getting seventeen weeks plus five odd days. So hundred years would be having five odd days. Hundred years will be having 
5 odd days. Till now we have seen for 100 years, right? 100 years will be having 5 odd days. Now coming 200 years. 200 years will be having 5 into 2, which is nothing 10. It becomes 3. If you divide 10 within a 7, okay? Then it will be having 1 week and 3 odd days, right? So it becomes a 3 odd days. 200 years will be having 3 odd days. For 300 years, it becomes 5 into 3, which is 15. So as we know, 7 to the 14. So 1 is left. So it becomes an, a 1 odd day. So 300 years would be having 1 odd day. If you consider 400, 400 would be having 5 into 4 plus 1. Why plus 1 comes into picture here? Uh, we have seen that for centuries, okay, to form a leap year, we have to divide by 400, right? So, if you divide 400 years by 400, it becomes 1. So, 400 years is nothing but a leap year. So, it becomes an, a 1. So, it becomes 21. As you know, 7 threes are 21. So, it becomes an, a 0 odd days. Right. Similarly, for 400 multiples, it be getting a zero or day. Like uh, each one of 800 years, 1200 years, 1600 years, 2000 years, we are having a zero or days. Now, what we do it is nothing but all of the things what we learned till now we form in a in a form of a table. Okay. See this one. Okay, 400, 800, 1200, 1600, 2000. Okay, all of them would be having a zero odd days okay similarly for 100 200 300 400 we are having 5 3 1 0 5 odd days 3 odd days 1 odd day and 0 odd days okay for 30 days like april we are having 30 days right 2 odd days 31 like jan we are having 3 odd days for feb would be 0 and 1 if it is a leap year it will be 1 else it will be a 0 okay odd days now if we, if we consider 0 Odd day as Sunday, one day as in Monday, two odd days on a Tuesday, three odd days on a Wednesday, four as Thursday, five as a Friday, six as a Saturday. You have to remember these four, okay, to solve any type of an, uh, problems, okay. We will be starting with an, uh, first type of an, uh, problem now. We will be going with the simple problems, okay. It is given that today is Monday. After 61 days, it will be how much, okay. It is given that today is uh, Monday, right. So after 61 days, what will be there, right? So we will not be counting like 1, 2, 3, so on, okay? What we do is nothing but, we will just divide 61, divided by 7. Then we are getting 7, it's 61, it's 8, sir. it becomes 56, so it becomes 5, right? So answer is 5, 8 weeks, 5 odd days, right? It will be adding odd days, 5 odd days now, okay? It becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is 5. So, Saturday. So, answer for this question is option D. Next question is, which of following is not a leap year? We, there are 4 years given to us. We have to find out among these 4, which of them is not a leap year, okay? As you know that every year divisible by 4 is a leap year, right? And if the year which is not a leap year is called as an ordinary year. Means it should not be divisible by 4, right? So what we do a simple thing, okay? What we do it is if a given number is divisible by 4 or not, how to find out is nothing but take the last two numbers and divide by 4. If it is divisible by 4, then it becomes an, nothing but an leap year okay then divide this one with a 4 the last two digit simple way of finding it out last two digit just divide by 4 is here 0 4 divided by 4 yes it is nothing but 1 0 8 by 4 is 2 0 6 by 4 it becomes nothing but 3 by 2 right it becomes 3 by 2 and 4 by 2 it's nothing but 3 right so, D, B, and A are leap years, and C is not in a 
leap year. So option C is an answer. Next question is, it was Sunday on Jan 1st, 2006. What was the day of the week on Jan 1st, 2010? Okay. What we do in this nothing but, first would be writing from 2006 to 2010. Okay. It is given at 2006, then 2007, then 2008, then 2009, then it is 2000. We have to find out for 2010. Uh, we'll be using two methods. One is a formula method. One is a non-formula method. Okay. Uh, in general, okay, theoretical way, how to solve this particular question? First, I will explain you. Then the formula method. Okay. It is given that 2006 Jan first was on a Sunday. Is on a first Jan, right? It was a first Jan. Was on a Sunday. Tell you it is fine. Now what we do is nothing but first find out among these years which of the year is a leap year. How to find it out? Last row digit divided by 4. To find it out whether that particular year is in a leap year or not. Uh, 6 by 4 it is not a leap year. 7 by 4 it is also not a leap year. 8 by 4 it is a leap year. 9 by 4 it is not a leap year. 10 by 4 it is not a leap year. Only 2008 by 8 is nothing but a leap year. Right? Other than this is not a long leap year. Now, theoretical way how to solve this problem is nothing but uh, when you consider first Jan, okay? First Jan in ordinary years, if it is Sunday, okay? Then you will be getting 31st December as also Sunday. If you want, you can see the calendar, okay? For leap years, okay? A first Jan or Sunday, then, then 31st December will be on a Monday. Why so? Because of a Feb 29 leap day would be coming into picture, okay? First Jan in leap year Sunday, then 31st December will be on a Monday, right? So, we will be considering the 31st December also. Okay. It is a non leap year. Right. So Sunday, Sunday would be coming here also. 31st December will be also a Sunday. Then next year would be on a Monday. Then 31st December will be also on a Monday. The next year will be on a Tuesday. Then 31st December will be on a Wednesday. Right. Why so? Because we are considering it as an, a nothing but a leap year, right? So it becomes a Wednesday. Now next year will be nothing but a Thursday. And 31st December will be also Thursday. Then next year would be a Friday. So it is asking for Jan 1st, 2010 will be nothing but a Friday. Option C. Now using a formula method. For formula method, what you do it is nothing but from 2006 to 2010, how many leap years are there? We will first finding out. Okay. As you know that for ordinary years, how many odd days will be there? One odd day. For leap years, we will be having two days as odd days. Right. Ordinary years will be having one odd day and leap year will be having two odd days. Right. So for 2007, 2006 Sunday is already given. So from 2007, we will be counting it out. 2007 is an ordinary day. So it will be having only one odd day. And leap year would be having two odd days. And Thursday, so 2009 would be having one odd day. 2010 would be also having one odd day. So adding this one, 2 plus 1, 3, 4, 5, it becomes 5. Just would be considered 5 odd days. And find the day. It is given that it was a Sunday. And after 5 days, it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It becomes an Friday. So option C. You can use whatever method you wanted. Okay. Formula method or general method. Thank you for watching.